Hello you pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you the first computer I ever built back in 2011. So this is the one I used to play StarCraft 2 and Skyrim on this baby. All right, so the problem I'm having with this machine is that when I turn it on, you're going to see it in a few more seconds, it's going to ask me for a password, okay? So as you can imagine, I don't have it, so we cannot access Windows or the BIOS, we cannot do anything. And since we cannot do anything with software, we have to reset the BIOS password using hardware. So now I'm going to shut down the computer because we cannot do anything. And we are going to check the computer itself. So let me a few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm going to recover. I'm going to uh, remove the cover over here. And I'm going to show you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches. And I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. Now I'm going to disconnect the, the power supply from the well from the wall, as you can see there. So this is the power supply, this is the processor, the fan is super dirty, this is the video card, very old, but it was enough for Sky, Skyrim. So now I'm going to show you the brand of this motherboard, which is Intel over here. I'm going to show you in a few more seconds. I don't know if they still make it motherboards, I have no idea. But we have to look for a jumper. So I'm going to leave a picture. And the jumper normally is on the, on the bottom right, but it depends on the model. And the jumper, like I said, in this model is in the bottom right. So now I'm going to turn on the light so we can see better. Now uh, I'm going to do a zoom in so we can locate the jumper because it's very small. All right, I'll have a few seconds. So that's the jumper. You're going to see it a little better now. And it looks similar as in the picture, right? It says BIOS CFG over there. So what we have to do, as you can see, it has three pins. Well, you only notice one, but we have to remove the jumper like that. Uh, again, we have three pins. The jumper is in the two pins from the right. So as you can see, we have three over here. So we have removed the jumper and the jumper looks like this. It comes in different colors. This is the first time I see yellow, if I remember correctly. <laughs> now we have to, for this model, we have to put the jumper in the first two on the left. Okay. So it's very easy to put back like that. As you can see, the one on the right is free. And this is how it works in on these models. So now um, allow me a few seconds. As you can see, I'm going to connect back the power over here. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And now it's going to uh, continue turning on. And I'm not pressing anything. As you can see, the same image. And it's going to take me directly to the BIOS. But first it's telling me, warning, CMOS battery failure. So this computer is very old. The CMOS battery is dead. So we have to replace it. That's not an issue. But uh, as you can see, it took me directly to the BIOS. I didn't press anything. So as you can see, it says clear BIOS password over there. So I, I don't have to do anything on these old models. It direct, directly takes me there and we have to press enter. All right. So we press enter over here and it says we'll clear the BIOS supervisor and user password. Do you want to continue? Yes, we want to clear everything, all the password, like the password to go to the BIOS and the password that comes up when you turn on the computer. So you press enter or you type Y and then we have to go to the right to the exit. And this is very important. You have to select exit saving changes because if you don't do it, the error or the message is going to come back again after you reboot the computer. OK, so exit saving changes, press enter. Yes. And now please turn off the power and reinstall the jumper in, nor in normal mode position. So that's what we're going to do right now. We shut down the computer. I'm going to show you the, the power in a few seconds right over there. Now we have to put back the jumper on the two pins on the right. OK, so this is the jumper. This is kind of it was kind of annoying to be grabbing the case and removing the jumper. But I remove it like that. It's very simple. It's very easy. So now we're going to put it how it was before on the two jumpers on the right. So you can see it there as it was before. Now, after we have done that, we have to connect everything back one more time and see what happens. Now, I'll let me a few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm going to connect the power for the third time now. And I'll let me a few seconds to, to, to point to the monitor. Now we're going to see what happens. So you can see the same over there. We are going to see the Intel logo. We see the same message, CMOS battery failure. And we can see Windows. Now, as you can imagine, this uh, hard, hard drive is very old. So it, this one took a while. That one, that's why the videos sped up. After that, you can see it doesn't have a, a password. I installed Windows 10 of, like four years ago. I don't remember. Maybe I didn't put a password for Windows. So as you can see, we are back in Windows. 
and that's how you re, uh, reset the BIOS password on this kind of model using that jumper. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.